Hey, Mike. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you happen to see that Lone Ranger movie? I did, and it made me want to kill myself and eat my children, and I haven't <laughs> even had them yet. <laughs> I had a similar experience. Hey guys, it's Tom Fonz here with Michael Cruz here to talk about the steaming pile of horse crap that was the Lone Ranger. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm just Googling ways to lobotomize the memory out of my brain. Oh, let me know what you find. Cruz is from the YouTube channel Tasted, which happens to share an office with the Cinefix headquarters, but after seeing the Lone Ranger, he felt so, oh, let's say strongly about it, he insisted on crashing today's show. On Tasted, we talk about food, and, and good food, bad food, bizarre food, weird food, and nothing has left a, as terrible an aftertaste in my mouth as the Lone Ranger. Now, when I was watching this movie, I was like, wait, hold up, Tom, hold up. This is a kid's movie. You're being too harsh and judgy on a kid's movie, right? Wrong. wrong. This totally is not wrong. a kid's movie, so you can't judge it by one. But that's right? part of what's so terrible about The Lone Ranger, right? You have the fact that it's a terrible franchise that never should have been revived in the first place. You mm -hmm. could go deep into the Western canon, and you could still find things that are more relevant to anybody under the age of 80, right? Nobody gives a sh about The Lone Ranger. No one. You have the fact that it's two and a half hours long. You yeah. have the fact that Army Hammer isn't funny, but then the worst part is that finally, you did it, you did it. Okay, somebody greenlit it, you put it together, you're gonna do the best you can, and you make a teeter-totter movie that's somewhere in between like the Three Stooges and a recreation of a of like a snuff film from the <laughs> seventh circle of hell, right? It doesn't know what tone it is, right? It's no. just like, it's sometimes a comedy, it's it's sometimes a kid's movie, it's sometimes rated R, and that's just because it's almost not Gore Verbinski's fault. It's, it's almost just like the fault of Hollywood wanting to be like, look, we want to please everybody. We, but you can't have it both ways, no. right? You can't say, I'm going to make a movie that's dark and twisted and sends a message and is a, is a satire of, of how this stuff was racist. And then I'm also going to make a wild romp in the hay for all you kids. You did. Not yet. Army Hammer, uh, he's not a horrible actor. You know, he can play those waspy side characters till the cows come home, but he can't carry a movie, let alone a two and a half hour long movie. He just does not have the charisma to do that. Sorry, now, Army. no, and Johnny Depp, all right? Johnny Depp uh, wasn't horrible, okay? But he no. wasn't doing anything we haven't seen him do a million times over. Oh, the, the eccentric, weird loner character. Shocking. Justice. What I seek, Kimosabe. Literally every Johnny Depp movie, okay? I want to see him play a normal guy. That would blow my f***ing mind. <laughs> I'm a Native American. I got a bird on my head. Boom, boom. <laughs> Stop it, Johnny. Stop it. You are, you have talent. You have potential. All right, so I think we can both agree this movie isn't even worth hate watching, no. just stay away. Stay as far away from the theater as you can. Don't watch it on the plane. No. Don't watch it on DVD. Boycott it like it's Chick-fil-A. Thanks you guys for watching and thank you to Mike for backing me up on why the Lone Ranger is such a piece of shit. Anytime, Tom, and thank you Hollywood for ruining three hours of my life. You guys make sure to subscribe to Cinefix as well as Taste It. If you don't, they will punish Mike by making him eat scorpion peppers until his sphincter rebels and completely detaches from his body. I've seen it happen, it is not pretty. Quick subscribe. <gasps>